Listen, there will be no intro for this video. I'm not, I'm probably not even gonna edit this video. I just wanna say this though. If you defend what Batman did in his comic book, if you defend Batman in any capacity, you are a weirdo. You're, 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 you're mentally ill. You're just as mentally ill as Batman and nobody likes you. You're not a real comic book fan. I'm, I'm gonna get a gatekeep in this video. You're not a real comic book fan. And guys, Batman just committed one of the biggest sins ever in this new Batman comic. Now, I just wanna say, like to subscribe. And two, this comic has not been released yet. However, we've gotten previews of what happens in the comic. Um, This comic actually releases tomorrow and I actually, this video wasn't even supposed to drop. I had a whole nother video that was supposed to drop right now. And guess what? In that video, it actually kind of was about Batman. I'm not going to tell you guys what it was about, but it's basically the current state of Batman and Spider-Man comics. You guys are going to have to get that tomorrow. It was supposed to drop right now. <sighs> All right, guys, let me calm down real quick, bro. In Batman issue 138, which releases tomorrow, it releases October 3rd, but we got the preview. Batman literally altered Jason Todd's brain. He literally drugged Jason Todd with, not fear gas, but some other weird type of thing that he drugged himself with. And basically, he's going to be adding a personality to Jason Todd's brain. We're basically, and he explained this in detail. So ain't no excuses. You can't flip the narrative, move the goalposts. He explained what he's going to do in detail, how he's going to add a fail safe to Jason Todd's brain so that whenever Jason Todd ever gets super angry or super sad, he can't kill anybody. Because basically, that's what it's about. Batman is mad that Jason Todd kills people, all right? Even though he's only killing criminals and bad people who kills people all the time, he's mad at that guys and in this comic batman literally tells jason oh this is a gift don't look at this like it's a punishment you deserve jail time for all of the people you killed and jason's like bro what are you talking about like what do you mean and batman's like hey just think about it i'm saving you from yourself and jason replies well if you're saving me from myself who's gonna save you from yourself and batman is just silent like he's like ah, whatever i don't care what this kid's saying like you're crazy, bro. You're literally crazy. And Batman is basically going to do to Jason Todd what he did to himself. As you, as you guys know, Batman has the ultra ego Zurinar. That's basically his fail safe for himself. That basically, if he ever starts going crazy and is going to kill somebody, Zurinar kicks in and basically just stops him. Whatever. Read Batman fail safe. It's a great story. I Chip Zdarsky is a great Writer. One of my favorite writers. She was our scout. I would love to interview, man. This comic run. Oh, don't stop it! It's very entertaining, and I own all of them. It's really, really fun. But, guys, what is this? Batman is not a good father. If you say he's a good father after this, you're weird. You deserve kids. What? He added a backup personality to Jason. A backup. And guess what? He literally said. Jason, you're gonna move. You're gonna move away. I'm gonna give you a whole new personality. What? What? Like, bro, bro. At this point, like, if you say Batman is a good folder, you're weird. And I will give some context in this video. Batman is being corrupted by Zurinar right now. Um, which already says backup personality. He is being corrupted by Zurinar. But this is still him. This is still his intentions. It's just Zernar just messing with his brain a little bit. Um, You know what I'm saying? I hope they don't just, after this, the end of this comic book series, I hope they don't just blame it all on Zernar and just say, oh, it was just Zernar's fault. Batman isn't like this at all. He's a good folder. Now nah, let's go back to the status quo. Like, I hope they don't do that. But this is still Batman. And if you guys watched one of my last videos about, you know, Batman comics, Batman was beating up on Jason too. And beating like he's not a good father, bro. He's not. I'm not gonna say, well, he, he is a bad father, actually. But he's definitely, even if you don't want to call him a bad one, he's definitely not a good father. You're weird if you say he's a good father. You're weird. Like, this man added a new personality to <laughs> bro. He's crazy. He's mentally ill. He's going haywire. I just wanted to say that in this video, bro. If you defend this, you are a creepy weirdo. Weirdo. Like, I'm, ain't that. But, but, but here's, but before I end this video, here's the thing that shocks me the most. Here's the thing that confuses me the most, right? Batman is adding an extra fail safe and an extra personality to his own son, right? Right? Jason Todd, because he kills people. But guess what? Why? Why? Where are these personalities for your robes gallery? 
Where are these personalities for Scarecrow? Where are these personalities for Professor Pig? For Riddler? I'm not going to say Joker because Joker is crazy. <laughs> I don't think extra personality will work on Joker. Joker is... He's really, really on the offside. But the other ones, Riddler, Ra's al Ghul, where are the personalities for them? You've captured them hundreds of times, but you never thought to get